If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, are social anxiety and anxiety the same? Answer by Alyssa Pinkston. No. Social anxiety is getting anxiety in specifically social situations. A large crowd, doing presentations, going to a party, talking to someone you've never spoken to before, etc. Anxiety is more generalized. I think the best way I can explain it is a sense of dread. But now magnify that sense of dread by 10 and blanket it over everything. Even normal situations you're used to and have done 10,000 times. There are different levels. Some people have severe anxiety, while others is almost unnoticeable. Anxiety is kind of like knowing that something is wrong but not knowing what or what to do about it. Social anxiety is just another type of anxiety. Answer by Tim O'Donnell. They share a couple of symptoms but are different in other ways. They are two separate diagnoses so the terminology is not interchangeable. They both involve excessive worry and a tendency to catastrophize their fears. GAD is different in that its sufferers have anxiety about a wide range of events in their lives. Social anxiety involves worrying about meeting new people, public speaking, getting nervous doing tasks with others watching them and also that people are watching them. I used to experience that a lot when I was still writing checks at the store. I felt like everyone in line behind me was watching me and getting annoyed at how long I was taking. It is possible for someone to have both disorders, like myself but still are different things. Answer by Mark Rozadkowski. There are different types of anxiety. I have social and generalized anxiety. Social anxiety is where I find it difficult in social settings where there is more than one person I'm meeting. Generalized anxiety is where I can be anxious about various things, such as the future, having enough finances, who is knocking on the door or is calling on the phone. Having both types of anxiety bleeds into each other and I don't always know why I'm feeling the way I do. But usually afterward I can think through it and realize if it is my social or generalized anxiety. If you struggle with social or generalized anxiety, I suggest you speak with your doctor as it can be quite paralyzing and can lead to isolation. Where you may start to isolate yourself so you can continue to feel in control. The problem is, once you start to isolate yourself it can become a slippery slope to continue further isolating yourself from friends and family who can help just by being there to love and care for you through it. So a doctor can prescribe medication and therapy can help you work through some self-talk about distorted thinking. I wish and hope all the best for you through this journey.